Hi, I'm Stephen Early, a Senior Product Manager at Microsoft. And with me is Mark Wallace, a Senior Software Engineer. We work in the Modern Work Transformation Team and are partnered with Power Platform and a set of collaboration controls. These enable no-code and low-code ways to help developers integrate Power Apps with Microsoft 365. In this session, we'll cover how teamwork is changing and why the tooling needs to adapt. We'll show a demo of the collaboration controls in Teams and a demo of the maker experience using the controls in Power Platform, a developer walkthrough of the virtual tables that back those controls, and finally, how partners are building on these experiences. What guides us in the modern work transformation team? But teamwork is core to how we think. By teamwork, we mean collaboration between people. People who are simply trying to get their job done but not experiencing simplicity as they do that. And teamwork is changing. Lots of you know that. You may have seen a change and experienced it yourself. And what interests us is the way teamwork is changing and how teams collaborate on workflows. So we believe the tooling has to adapt and change to support users to make their journeys simpler and more productive. And it has changed. People now use technology like Microsoft Teams to bring people together. And lots of valuable apps exist to help people connect and work together on workflows. But there's room to do more, especially to help people whose workflows are getting disrupted by context switching from application to application. And what do we mean by context switching? Take this recruiting example. Multiple users must collaborate across multiple tools to finalize an offer. Here we see SharePoint, Outlook, Teams, Planner, and approvals in use. And the same can be said for many other collaborative processes. There are lots of examples. You can probably envision many more in your business. And the data exists that people are challenged to stay in their flow. So we need new ways to combine modes of collaboration into a user's flow, which is why we're proud to announce the collaboration controls for Power Platform. With the collaboration controls, you can now combine the customizability of Power Platform with the ease of use from Microsoft 365 to build collaborative apps. These controls give you the power to simplify your users' workflow collaboration and help keep them in their flows. Let's take a look at collaboration controls in Teams. In this segment, we'll walk through a demonstration of the collaboration controls in Teams and later in the session, show how easy it is to add the controls to a model-driven app. Let's see what capabilities the collaboration controls provide. Here in Teams, you notice it has a single team, Contoso, and a channel called inspections. The users in this team manage inspections for their company and use Planner for task management, SharePoint for file management, and Teams for meetings, chats, and channel posts. These all work well, but users are finding it difficult to keep track of all the entities, such as tasks and files, and can get distracted by the need to context switch across applications. Wouldn't it be great if they could have all those capabilities in one context and easy access to all the entities related to the inspection they are working on. Fortunately, their developers have built an app with the collaboration controls that does just that. On the Inspections tab, you notice a model-driven app with a record open called Home Inspection. You'll see tabs for tasks, meetings, files, and notes. And we can see that a note has been left that the client needs an agreement document. So let's add that. Navigate to the Files tab and add the document. Here we have the agreement document. Now we see the file being associated with that record, making it easy for users to find exactly the files they need. We can also create meetings, customers, and internal team members. Then we have tasks. We see a task has been added to review the files. We can also create new tasks. And because these controls are backed by MS Graph, tasks, meeting files are also available through M365. And finally, we have approvals. Often the team needs approvals for things like client discounts. Now approvals can natively integrate with the business entity just like these other collaboration controls. To learn more about the approvals work, check out the session, extend approvals across your line of business applications in Microsoft Teams. So how did Contoso developers build an app with the collaboration controls? And was it expensive to integrate the app with Microsoft Graph? 
Keep watching for the next demo segment. Thank you. But there's more. We don't just want to simplify the user experience. We also want to make it easy for all developers to build collaborative apps using the collaboration controls. Let's take a look. Hi. In this segment, we show how to add collaboration controls to a model-driven app. Here, we're in Modern Form Designer, where we have an app under development. Now we want to add the collaboration controls so that our app is powered by Planner for Tasks, Outlook for Meetings, SharePoint for Files, and Dataverse for Notes. On the left is a pane of controls that can be added. We'll use a new category, Collaboration. And all we need to do is select a control and drop it on the tab. By doing that, notice how the controlled empty state is the same that would appear to users when they run the application. Files, and then notes. So now we have our app built. Hit save, and we will publish and switch to the app in runtime to take a look. Let's take a look at tasks. We can add a task, meetings. We can create a new meeting, notes. We can create notes. And that's it. We now have a no-code experience to integrate with M365 via the collaboration controls. And because the app is built on Power Platform, developers can take advantage of Power Automate to build workflow automation. Here in Power Automate, we can see a flow has been created using a new collaboration connector. This is a user-friendly connector that allows developers to interact with Graph via Dataverse virtual tables. These tables enable simplification of the steps needed to create a trigger and action. No complex logic needed, just two steps to create this flow that creates a node when a task is added. You'll hear more about these virtual tables from our engineering team later in this session. Thank you for watching. One of our steps to empower people to achieve more with workflows. Now I'll hand over to Mark to talk to us about virtual tables. Hello, my name is Mark Wallace. I'm a senior engineer in the modern work transformation team at Microsoft. Now that you've seen the collaboration controls in action, I'm going to talk about how we've used virtual tables to enable the collaboration controls. I'll explain what virtual tables are, show you how to call them, I'll explain what they do behind the scenes and why you would want to use them. Let me start by explaining what virtual tables are. Virtual tables are a Dataverse feature that allows you to represent data from an external system as one or more tables within Dataverse. The data from the external system is not copied into Dataverse and there's no data synchronization. When you access a virtual table, the data is either retrieved or updated in the external system in real time. The collaboration controls use Microsoft Graph as the external system. So a read from one of our virtual tables is a read from Microsoft Graph and the graph access control is applied. But as we will see, our virtual tables do much more than just allow you to read and write data from Microsoft Graph. Next, let's take a look at a web API call to a virtual table. The example I'm showing is the call the tasks collaboration control makes when it creates a new task. We have virtual tables corresponding to each collaboration control we've built. The request is a HTTP post and the URI includes the organization URI and the name of the virtual table. The request body contains a JSON representation of the record we want to create. The format of the virtual table records is aligned with the Graph API, so any attribute Graph supports will be supported by the virtual table. Some of the attributes are JSON, and the format is the same as that used by Graph, so it's well documented and existing Graph API samples can be reused. The response will include the URI of the newly created record, and this can be used to perform read, update, or delete operations. The key takeaway from this slide is that you can use the standard Dataverse Web API to interact with our virtual tables. This gives you full programmatic access to the data that the collaboration controls will use. Now let's look at all the things a virtual table does when it receives a request to create a new record. 
This sequence diagram shows the components involved in creating a new record. The tasks collaboration control makes a Dataverse web API call to create the task. The virtual table is responsible for calling the Microsoft Graph API and performing the additional business logic required to support our collaboration controls. I'll go through each of these steps in more detail in the next slide. The first thing the virtual table does is to convert the Dataverse request to a Graph request. Any request body, which is a Dataverse record, must be converted to the Microsoft Graph equivalent. Next, the virtual table determines what graph endpoints need to be called. For a create request, this is straightforward. There is an equivalent graph create request. However, the task control needs to be able to perform more complicated operations. For example, when it needs to display the tasks associated with a particular inspection record, then the virtual table needs to do the following. First, it, it must look up the IDs of the tasks associated with the inspection record. Then it creates a request to retrieve the tasks from graph. The virtual table executes this as a batch request for maximum efficiency. If the number of tasks is very large, the virtual table will automatically support paging over the data. This is just one example where a virtual table executes multiple graph calls in response to a single Dataverse web API call. The virtual table also implements the logic to associate a newly created task with an inspection record, but this could be any arbitrary business record. Next, the virtual table converts the graph response or responses to the appropriate Dataverse response. A trigger will be fired to enable Power Automate flows to execute before the response is returned to the collaboration control. I'll conclude by discussing why you would want to use our virtual tables. The virtual tables make the developer's job easier. We use them to simplify the development of the collaboration controls, and we're making them available for customers to use. Virtual tables use the standard Dataverse web API, which makes it easy to use the virtual tables to populate data in your application. Our virtual tables implement the complex workflows required to support our collaboration controls, and these workflows execute within Microsoft data centers for optimum performance. The virtual tables use the standard Dataverse logging and monitoring capabilities. So once you install the collaboration controls, the virtual tables can be treated as another service your applications can depend on. Power Automate flows are also simplified. For example, using our connector, you can respond to a virtual table create operation with a single step. Thanks for taking the time to listen to our news about virtual tables. Thanks, Mark. Now we're going to hear from customers and partners who are excited about the capabilities of the collaboration controls. Capgemini is a global leader in partnering with companies to transform and manage their business. They have been early adopters of the controls and have embedded these into a bank guarantee solution. Next, they will speak to the value of controls for their solution, including reducing their development effort and integration in Microsoft Graph. Hi everyone, I'm Vinay Bhatia and I'm part of Capgemini's global Microsoft COE. I lead our Microsoft Power Platform and Dynamics 365 Business Applications portfolio. Today, I wanted to talk about our bank guarantee solution and our successful partnership with Microsoft to implement same. A bank guarantee is one of the trade finance services offered by banks worldwide. It is also referred as standby letter of credit in the US. It is an assurance that a bank provides to the beneficiary should the applicant party default on their obligation for completion of the contract. While talking to a trade finance domain SMEs, we realize that the current process in most banks to request and issue a bank guarantee is very manual and ad hoc. There are a lot of process inefficiencies. There is no centralized application or repository for managing requests and storing relevant documents. The approval process is manual with multiple handoffs and data being shared and approvals being given on email. As you can imagine, sharing of documents containing PII information and financial information over emails and file shares is a risk to the organization. On an average, it takes approximately four weeks of processing time to process the application and the customer lacks visibility into the request status during this period. 
To solve the problem, our digital expert from our Microsoft COE worked closely with Microsoft to develop a solution that manages the bank guarantee process end to end across request, operations and legal review, approvals and contract signatures. At the heart of the solution is a customer facing Power Apps portal and model driven app for bank employees. Customers can request bank guarantee digitally and upload the supporting documents using the customer portal. The model driven Power Apps is surfaced within Microsoft Teams, providing all the required functionality in the flow of work and eliminating the need for bank employees to open different applications. The collaboration control for Microsoft Teams act as an application UI layer providing ability for uh, the bank employees to collaborate using chat, set up internal and external meetings, create internal and external tasks, capture notes and co-author documents. The collaboration controls abstract the use of Microsoft Planner, SharePoint Online, Exchange Calendars and the Graph API behind the scenes. The Microsoft Teams app enables bank employees with workflow capabilities which can be customized as per the bank needs to enable collaboration between various employees. This results in increased customer satisfaction, improved productivity and significant reduction of operational cost and risk for the bank. Being a launch partner of Microsoft Cloud for Financial Services and an early adopter of the collaboration controls, and leveraging same to develop our solution, we are able to fast track innovation and eliminate the need to write custom code for our requirements. We work closely with Microsoft product managers and Microsoft engineering team to brainstorm initial ideas and develop the solution in a very short span of time leveraging the collaboration controls. We invite you to partner with our Microsoft COE to innovate and automate your business processes using solutions that leverage the intelligent Microsoft Cloud. Thank you. On the previous demos, we saw the collaboration controls running in an app. Now we hear from one of our partners, City of Seattle. My name is Margaret Mahoney, and I'm a senior assistant city prosecutor for the City of Seattle. I'm currently tasked with working with technology within the courtroom and within our law department. I, through this process, have become a citizen developer in specifically working with online court and document uh, workflows. I've also done all aspects of prosecution, both in trials and in the domestic violence unit and our filing units. And so I have a, a vast amount of knowledge of the workings of the criminal court system. Currently, the way our system is working with online courts, we suffer many pain points. And some of those are lag time. Um, we have to wait for emails to go through. We have to wait for the processes to generate and move through the system. It can be disjointed and unfortunately that leads for a very negative experience, especially if they're not really understanding what's going on to begin with. And so what has come out of this is an opportunity to collaborate and work with Microsoft on a better, more streamlined way to do these court ruling documents where we're collaborating with multiple people from the defense attorney to our external parties to judges and prosecutors and even the citizens like our, our residents, our Seattle residents who are defendants and victims. One of the great things about being able to do this project is being able to work on the Microsoft 365 platform and the Power plat Platform. These tools have been instrumental currently in our process that we use and we've been able to do some great stuff including writing some um, Power Automates to capture information and documents and get them to the right people, which has been really amazing to work with and to be able to work on a team to enhance the skills that I've already started to work on is unbelievable. And the new product is going to just transform our ability to continue having online court my name is Diane Yoakum. I lead a team of developers at Seattle IT who develop and support applications built on the Power Platform. I've also been instrumental in leading adoption of the Power Platform with citizen developers. Currently, my team uh, develops applications that are maybe more complex and um, integrate with other solutions at the city but um, we've also been involved with supporting citizen developers in designing their own applications, um, applications that may, or solutions that may never have been um, on IT's work plan just because of the limited resources we have in IT. 
So these are solutions that we've been able to assist our citizen developers in creating that have met their needs and they haven't had to wait for an IT resource to be available. We can extend the solutions that we're developing so there's not a stop at the end of the line of business application. Um, when somebody needs to collaborate with a teammate or do meetings or get a quick answer through Teams, rather than leaving the application and going out to some other um, environment and getting the solution or the answer and bringing it back, they can do it all in one place, in one solution, without slowing down or changing their workflow. Which is really a, a great opportunity to allow for our residents and the people who are involved in the court to be able to attend hearings that maybe they typically couldn't have before. So this is really just transformational in creating a better access to justice and removing any disparities that currently exist because of the system. Now let's see what others have to say. My name is Richard Gregory. I work here at Avenard and my team globally is responsible for helping clients get more value out of their existing investment into M365 and everything teams related. We've created a world of work for humans that's incredibly complex. The average employee has now over 88 different applications they have to use on a daily basis to get their job done. They have to open 1,100 browser windows a week and copy 168 pieces of information on a daily basis. The opportunity ahead of us now is how do we simplify that world of work, simplify the workflows and the processes and the way that business takes place and do so in a way that's absolutely natural for every employee using the tools and technologies that they're absolutely used to using already on a daily basis. What's really exciting for me about collaboration controls is it uses existing technology from the Microsoft ecosystem, leveraging the power of Microsoft Teams and Power Platform, but leveraging that technology in a new and innovative way that really drives business value and helps organizations drive productivity, operational efficiency, and most importantly, an improved employee experience, all in the tools and technologies that we use on a daily basis things like Microsoft Teams. GLP is a global asset management company focused on logistics real estate. Now, if you think about that as an industry, we know that one of the most complex but important processes and workflows is around client onboarding. How can you do that seamlessly, efficiently and effectively to bring clients and assets on board as quickly as possible? Now, leveraging the power of collaboration controls, we've managed to take what is ultimately a multi-system, multi-stakeholder journey and bring it into a simple and seamless workflow built directly into Microsoft Teams. That not only has transformed the customer experience, but also the employee experience and ultimately driven additional business value when it comes to operational efficiencies and time to onboarding for those critical customers. It's been truly revolutionary. Now, let us show you how we've brought that to life. We're going to show you a demo here that talks through that onboarding journey for a customer that takes data from multiple disparate systems and multiple different collaboration technologies and brings into Teams into a single simple workflow that even if you're not an expert in client onboarding, in real estate and asset management, you'll be able to easily understand the next steps within that workflow and work it through. It's truly transformational. Let's have a look. Avana digitized and transformed GLP's investor onboarding process using the collaboration toolkit. The process today is traditionally executed end-to-end -end using Excel and email. The meetings component was used to help investment manager make appointments with prospect investors and also help set up internal meetings for GLP's teams such as legal, compliance, and finance. The task component was used to assign tasks and track progress of all activities required at each stage of the investor onboarding process. For example, during the agreement stage, GLP's financial accountant is tasked to provide taxation, monitoring, and financial governance information. The task component was also used to assign tasks externally to investors, such as reviewing and signing off the limited partnership agreement.
The files component is used to store all documentation related to and shared with the investor throughout the onboarding process. From NDAs, due diligence documents to ESG policies and financial information. So all documentation is kept in a single place and tethered directly to the investor. The notes component is primarily used to help investment managers capture any key meeting notes with the investor for any client meeting and capture any key decisions that were made between GLP internal teams throughout the investor onboarding process. Finally, the chat component is used to improve efficiency and contextualize communication between the internal teams, such as the investment manager, following up with the compliance manager on updating ESG policy documents for a specific investor. Hi, my name is Miao Song, Global Chief Information Officer of GLP. At GLP, we're transforming our investment business to become more efficient and globally scalable, better serving our investors and customers through productivity and rapid access to new insights. Our technology strategy is centered around the Microsoft First ecosystem, leveraging our core Microsoft products to develop business solutions for all of our colleagues. As a global investment manager and asset builder, many of our key business processes involve collaboration across many departments, regions, and colleagues. When we heard about Collaboration Toolkit, we instantly could see the opportunity for our colleagues to collaborate on key business processes and track how each stakeholder is interacting, bring together the Microsoft tools we already invested in. The first two processes we have identified for proof of concept cover our investment approval process and the onboarding of the new investors. Collaboration Toolkit is an opportunity for GLP Hi, my name is Robin Johns and I'm the Director of Visit Technology for GLP Europe. When we heard about the Collaboration Toolkit, we instantly could see the opportunity for our colleagues to collaborate on key business processes and track how each stakeholder is interacting, bringing together the investment in Microsoft we have already done. The first two processes we've identified for proof of concept cover our investment approval process and the onboarding of new investors. Microsoft's Collaboration Toolkit is an opportunity for GLP to leverage cutting-edge innovation and we're excited for the next stage of a global partnership with Avanade and Microsoft. Today we introduced the collaboration controls, the user experience and developer experiences. You saw how these new controls simplify integration of M365 with model-driven apps and can help users stay in their flow. And how partners are beginning to integrate the controls into their solutions to help user productivity. We hope you're excited to explore the controls and we can't wait to see what you will do with them. Thank you for watching this one Microsoft effort between the modern work transformation team and power platform.